Good morning everyone. Here I am again going to work with the, my tutorials and to start with we have the pencil, the triangles as usual. Then uh, as of now we are drawing lines. It is because of our project which is something to do with trapezoid. We will work on the construction of trapezoidal prism. So mostly I'm using the triangles or the combination of triangles and just a measurement. So we're just measuring the size of trapezoids. So here is it. Are using four centimeter by three centimeter. So we are plotting the pattern development of the trapezoid or the trapezoidal prism. So for its tank we use 12 inches. To make it balanced we have to use 3 inches for its sides to make it used as our plan for working the inclined measurements or the inclined portion of the trapezoid. <coughs> okay, here's it. We have now the proper measurements. Then we are working with the inclined surfaces of the trapezoid. So we have two inclined surfaces. The first one and the second one. We are just connecting the intersection. Okay. Already finished. Uh, the next issue will be we'll try to construct the uh, topmost portion of the trapezoid. So there you go. And then we will construct now the inclined surface, which is we'll try to use the method of constructing auxiliary or the auxiliary views. So that is the method of constructing auxiliary views, perpendicular lines to inclined surface. So there you go. Okay, there you go. We are constructing now the auxiliary view, which will be the inclined surface of the trapezoid. There are two inclined surfaces to be constructed. So already constructed the first one. As I've said, we use the proper construction of auxiliary view by means of constructing perpendicular lines to the inclined surface. Then by this time, we'll use the compass for the exact measurement of its sides. So there you go. We'll try to uh, get the proper measurements and then transfer it to the 
auxiliary review to the line itself and then afterwards we will connect the measurements or the uh, intersection using the compass okay okay there are two glide surface now we are constructing the how do you call that <laughs> we call this the side which is the portion that we will try to connect okay we are constructing the allowance the portion that we will be will be our portion to face in the different surfaces so after that um, after making the different allowances for the sides so the next part will be what do you call this okay yes the inking After inking, next will be naming the pattern. So, the, the, our, the name of our project is Trapezoidal Prism. Like what I've said, it is because of its surface which is a trapezoid. And since it is solid, trapezoidal prism, as used by, by Sir Extra. Thank you. So next will be. After cutting, the usual next would be the folding of the pattern. So let us start folding the pattern by using the triangle and folding its sides.
after folding the usual next to be done is pasting the sides or the uh, allowances to do the object itself so one by one the different allowances that we have made then we face it okay Okay, and there you go. The penis object. The trapezoidal prism. Let's take a look at the object itself. Okay. Trapezoidal prism. That is the easiest way to work with the object. So by following the steps, you can work with this so it's just easy for you to make this object thank you for your time of watching my video till the next time that i will upload my next project so be ready to all of you guys there watching my video thank you very much good luck Good health, take care, and be safe nowadays. God bless us all. Thank you very much. See you next. See you on my next project.